Learn how to write a breach of dispute duty notice to General Information Services. Did General Information Services fail to respond to your dispute letter? Choose this template to create the document, then send it to the recipient. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top, an example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York, 12345. Choose your document date. Please, select the date of the dispute letter you previously sent to the Consumer Reporting Agency. Let's say October 1, 2021. Scroll down, and enter your first and last name exactly as they appear on the driver license or ID, John Doe. Then, input your social security number, 123-456789. Date of birth, October 30, 1975. Enter your current address again, 123 Example Street, Unit 1, New York, New York, 12345. Next, enter your phone number, 123-456-7890. And an email address you own, email at example.com. Under the text, respectfully, need to enter your first and last name, John Doe. Now, you need to provide copies of two forms of identification. Upload your ID or driver license copy to the document left side and your social security card to the right side. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, John Doe. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. For your convenience, please use the online notary service by following the link idispute.org slash online dash notary. Important. The person whose signature is being notarized must personally appear before the notary at the time of the notarization without exception. Finally, attach Exhibit A, and send the letter by USPS Certified Mail. Certified Mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your letter. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important. You can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.